to So You Mean to Tell Me Season 2, Episode 13. This episode is going to be about imposter syndrome. I feel like everybody in their life has felt like an imposter at some point in their time, but imposter syndrome really does hinder you, hinder you from being able to be as successful as you can be. So we're going to talk about why your imposter syndrome is lying to you and how we can level up and be better. So let's get into it. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been qualified for a job, but you didn't think that you were good enough? Have you ever been qualified to do something, but you didn't want to try out or you didn't want to apply because you didn't think that you can get the job? Now, now I want to know why not. If you had the qualifications, if you had the credentials, if you knew that you were capable of doing the job, then why didn't you apply? Why didn't you apply? Why didn't you give yourself the chance to try? And I'll tell you why. Imposter syndrome. Your imposter syndrome is lying to you. I know personally, my imposter syndrome has shown up in several different occasions in my life. I would say the one that's most relatable is transitioning to graduate school. I had a lot of like self-doubt. I had a lot of I don't know I just didn't think that I was good enough for it like I didn't think that I was good enough to do pursue graduate school I didn't think I was even gonna get in and then I did and then I didn't even think that I was gonna be able to get good grades and then I am like I just didn't think I'm good enough and time and time again I'm showing myself that I am so what's the problem what's the disconnect and I really think that just ha- goes a long way with believing in yourself and having that confidence and just reminding yourself that that voice in your head is lying that imposter that you're thinking of isn't an imposter it really is just you you really are just like that you really are just that nice you really are just that good at what you do if somebody else can do it why not you if it's been done before why not you if you think that it can be done then why can't it? You can do whatever it is that you set your mind out to do. You're not an imposter. You are unapologetically you. That's how you should always be. Just be yourself. And I know that those feelings of self-doubt, those feelings of worthlessness, they will over, 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 over play in your head all the time. But it's just important to remember and to remind yourself of the accomplishments that you already have. For me personally, I'll show myself my diploma. Oh, okay, if you're not good enough for graduate school, then how did you how did you pass undergrad? If you're not good enough for graduate school, how did you get this acceptance letter? If you're not good enough for graduate school, how are, how are you still in and your GPA looks like this? If you're not good enough for graduate school, then how did you get those teacher recommendations? If you're not good enough, then how? If you're not good enough, then how? That's how I remind myself. I'll, I will show myself facts and evidence. Your, your mind can't, you can't, you can't argue with the facts. You just can't argue with the facts. Those are the cold, hard earned facts. I got that degree. I earned that. I passed those classes. I learned, I did all of that. I did that and it's okay to be proud of that. You are amazing and it's okay to feel proud about that. Allow yourself to celebrate those victories. Allow yourself to feel happy about those victories. Allow yourself to not feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Once you start feeling bad, then you start thinking you never even deserved it in the first place. And then all those negative, negative, negative uh, plays start going in your head and then you start diminishing that success. Never do that. Never diminish your success because there's already people out there that's gonna do that anyway. People out there are gonna already hate on you anyway, so there's no need for you to be your biggest hater. Don't be your biggest hater. You need to root for yourself because if you don't, baby, then who will? Your imposter syndrome will hinder you from success. You will not be able to go on to the next step if you're over there telling yourself that you don't even belong at the step that you're at. You'll never be able to level up if you're sitting there always thinking about the last thing that you shouldn't have been able to do when you already did it. How are you going to focus on what shouldn't be or what couldn't be when it already is? Please remember to just remind yourself of what you've already done. And please also remember that it's okay to seek professional help. If you keep having these negative, persistent, internalized thoughts, go speak with somebody and that's perfectly okay. I want y'all to know that you're not alone. I want you to know that you're not alone, even if the first person that you choose to speak to isn't a professional, please just speak to some to somebody who may share those experiences or may have 
a, a understanding of what you're seeing. A lot of the times people will sit there and try to down you for trying to help somebody with a mental health problem or disorder or anything that it may be if you're not a professional i'm here to tell you i feel like that's straight bs i feel like as a community we should be a community we should uplift people a credential doesn't doesn't change that and i think that that's one of the biggest things that made me feel more comfortable with myself as a content creator as a mental health advocate because i don't have my i don't have my credentials yet I am a graduate in psychology undergrad and I am a current graduate student in, graduate student in counselor education. But I'm, I'm not done yet. I'm still learning and I'm still growing, but who's to say I can't share my experience and who's to say you can't share yours with me? We should be able to learn and build off each other. And I feel like a lot of the times imposter syndrome happens because we're so internalized in our own thoughts and we're so scared to talk to other people out of fear of judgment. People are so quick to judge. People are so quick to judge. People are so quick to tell you what you can't talk about. People are so quick to tell you how you shouldn't feel, what you can't do. Why can't I? Why shouldn't I? You can do whatever it is that you want to do. And I just don't, I don't like the way that society has started to treat people. And I feel like that is why imposter syndrome has gotten so much worse because you keep having all these negative thoughts. You keep having all, you keep having your own personalized negative thoughts and then you have other people throwing those thoughts at you as well. So it's kind of like, who can you run to? Who can you run to? And it's also important to remember everybody can afford healthcare. Everybody can't even afford counseling. So why can't you be the kind person in the community to help somebody until they're able to go get that professional help? We have to start within ourselves. We have to start taking a, a, a bit of accountability. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people say, okay, well, you need to go get help and you need to go seek a professional. Yes, yes, you do. But as a community, we also need to get better because you can only do so much internalized healing. So you mean to tell me this is season two, episode 13. If you're listening on Apple or Spotify, y'all, please make sure to give the podcast a five-star rating and give a comment so other like-minded individuals can join this mental health community. Mind you, this is the best mental health community there is, and I would love to have you here. So y'all, please make sure to up the engagement so more people can find us. And if you're on YouTube, hey, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment as well get the engagement up let me know what you liked and what you didn't like about this video i want to remind y'all we're coming weekly 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 with the mental health content every wednesday wind down with me and every saturday so you need to tell me it was nice talking to y'all and i'll see you next time bye